using the Labgear DAT 102 Digital TV Analyzer. Switch it on by holding the power key. Let's start with level mode. The meter shows channel number and frequency and can be tuned by either. Signal levels are displayed in dB microvolts with dB millivolts and dBm menu selectable. DAT102 automatically detects if your TV signal is digital or analog, showing D for a digital channel or V over A being the vision to audio ratio for an analog in the lower left of the screen. Carrier to noise appears to the right. Spectrum provides a visual display of all the signals the meter can see. Span view can be narrowed to 14, 28, 55 or 110 megahertz allowing you to decide to examine one channel or several possibly identifying an interfering signal. MERBER signal quality measurements are provided for digital TV. When DAT102 has locked your channel, a padlock shaped icon appears in the top right corner of the screen. Bit error ratio and modulation error ratio measurements then display below. A constellation diagram also includes MER and BER measurements. What do the DAT102 MER, BER and constellation measurements really mean? As the concepts may be new to some, perhaps a few words of explanation may assist. Top left of the screen you see the number of the channel tuned. Top right, the lock indicator icon. A line of progressing dots indicates the meter is working to lock the signal. If it can't detect a digital signal at all, a rectangular measurement icon flashes to suggest you switch back to level or spectrum mode to check that the signal you seek is actually present. The second row shows the centre frequency of the tuned digital channel in megahertz. Third shows the type of signal and the number of carriers. Fourth row is MER and level margin in dB. Level margin greater than around plus 6 dB or the mid-range of pre-BER E4 is deemed a pass. Below a fail, both on the right of row 6. Fifth is pre-BER, before the Viterbi error corrector. It's a logarithmic count of signal errors. A poor signal will be in the E3 range, errors per 1000 data bits, up to E8, errors per 100 million bits for a really high quality signal. Whilst the range of numbers may seem narrow, it actually covers a huge range of error levels. This is your most important digital TV measurement and where you should see the most variation. Sixth row is post VER, after the Viterbi corrector. It's a similar logarithmic count but as the Viterbi corrector repairs most errors, it's usually a high reading like the E8 we can see in this one. Seventh shows real errors, a count of damaged packets after the second Reed Solomon error corrector. Constellation is a two-dimensional scattered diagram 
that shows the symbols within your digital signal simultaneously. This graphical signal quality display is useful for comparative analysis of various signal distortions and interferences. DAT102 has more features, but we hope this brief introduction serves to whet your appetite. Mm -hmm.